Okay guys, it's pretty windy out here today and I hope you can hear me over the wind noise. Um, if you watched the last video I just posted or it'd be previous to this one, you've seen that me and Sheila had a little uh, shooting competition with the Browning Buckmark and uh, I did lose. You know, I hate to admit it to her because she'll, she'll rub that in for weeks how she outshot me. But anyway, she did and uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm tickled she does. It makes her more apt to come out here and shoot with me when she outshoots me. And she legitimately done it. I, I pulled off. So. And uh, so anyway, we're going to do an ammo test on this one. We're going to do our standard lineup, that what we have been doing. Although I'm about out of the BBM, so that's going to be uh, dropped out of the test and probably might have enough for one more gun uh, with it. But uh, we're going to be doing the uh, M22 and the Winchester white box the Federal Auto Match the Winchester red box the Remington Thunderbolt 22's these have been shooting pretty good out of most guns and then we are going to do the arms core Oh no, BBM before that. We're going to do the BBM, then the Arms Corps, and then Aguila Super Extra, and lastly, the CCI Standards. Pretty well the same lineup we've been doing. I have two magazines here, so I'm going to load up. I'm just going to do five rounds on each. So we'll, we'll do the five rounds, and... Uh, see how we shoot with each of these and uh, that way it doesn't take so long so anyway let me uh start loading this up and uh we'll get started with this all right guys i'm gonna let you watch the shooting action here on the first couple of these and then i'll set you up down there on target and we'll we'll see what we've done and take a look at it. i got the m22s loaded up and then i got us uh, five winchesters here to go next so we'll do these and then we'll go down there and We'll set up on camera or on target. done pretty good so far the m22s have been shooting fairly well these are the Winchester white box really well I'll take you down there and we'll set you up on camera and uh, we'll take a look at those and uh, then we'll finish on with our uh, our uh, testing all right here's our uh, m22s there's our five shots right there and here is our Winchester white box and uh, they actually shot pretty good. I mean, that's a fairly small group right there. So I'm going to go back here and load us up the auto match and some of the red box, and uh, we'll continue on.
Well, the auto match shot pretty good, but I had one round went failed to go off three times. I had to get another one out of the box. So here's our, there's three shots right there. And then, so Federal Auto Match is just so inconsistent. It's, 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 it's just junk ammo. It's something to put in a gun and say you shot it because it is, it's just junk. Uh, I heard one round. One round was so light it didn't cycle the action all the way back to pick up the next round. And uh, then I had one that uh, uh, hit the primer on three times and still didn't go. So let me pause you and we'll go back and do the Federal Reds. All right, I got a Federal Red box and our Thunderbolts loaded up. So we'll just go from one to the other and uh, I won't pause the video in between. So this is Federal Red and Thunderbolt. All right, there was the uh, the arms corn, the uh, the uh, Remington Thunderbolts. Not no, it was a Federal Red box. Federal Red was here, and uh, Thunderbolts there. For some reason, I didn't push my record button on the uh, camera, so I'll just have to piece this footage together and hope I don't screw up no more. So let me pause you here, and I'll set up for the CCI and the Arms Corps. All right, I said that wrong. It's gonna be the Battleborn and then the Arms Corps. So up first is the Battleborn and then I'll have to come back and reset for the uh, lower round. So anyway, Battleborn next. I tell you, that Battleborn's been shooting pretty good out about everything I put it in. I had never heard of that ammunition before. It was sent to me by uh, Richard Chavez, so a shout out to Richard for supplying the BBMs for the channel. Uh, about everything, a couple handguns didn't shoot them real well, but everything else has shot them outstanding. They're just a lead, have like a waxy coating on them. I don't know that you can even buy this them in this part of the country. I've never seen them before. But uh, shooting some tight groups with them. They're definitely a good round if you can find them. So let's set up. We'll do our arms core next. So that was our arms core. Not a bad little group. So we got two left, our Guila Super Extra and our CCI Standard. Both of which I say should shoot good out of this gun. Uh, let me set us up over here now. We'll just do those two without pausing.
obvious that uh, it liked both of those. There's five rounds of uh, Aguila right there. And here's five rounds of CCI. So that that's uh, a little buck mark shoots pretty good. So let's uh, finish her up. All right, guys, that concludes the test of our Browning Buckmark. I think this is the camper. This is a four and a half inch barrel. Uh, pretty nice little shooting gun. It's obvious that it uh, prefers the, uh, the Aguila and the CCI were probably the best two performing. Although the, uh, the M22s weren't too bad out of it. Uh, and the uh, Federal Red shot pretty good. So, you know, performed pretty good. I had a little hiccup there with the auto match. Uh, had one round. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But uh, if that'll focus or not. I can never tell where the camera thing of this is. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But uh, three primer hits on that one. And it never did go off. So that's your Federal Auto Match for you. Some high quality stuff. So anyway guys, I hope you appreciate this video. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If uh, Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. If you have a buck mark, uh, how does yours shoot? What's it prefer? Uh, none of these ammos were terrible, so there's none of them. I would just say, you know, don't buy it for your buck mark because it's awful. Uh, Federal Auto Match is probably the, the worst performing, and it's just because it's, you know, it's uh, up and down and uh, hit and miss and dead primers and, you know, so. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. And guys, we'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoy this one.